Should black people be PC? Let's let's just discuss that for a moment. Should some people think that we need to be a little more PC? You know, um, PC is uh, what they call it in, in jail, in prison, protective custody, a pussy city. People think we need to be PC, right? We need to be PC, politically correct. Listen, niggas, when we have a government, you know, when we have our own black government or our own government that represents us, then we can afford to be PC. Yeah, we may have a black president. Now, nah, they just put the ruin. All they do with Obama is put the ruin under Obama's hand. You know, white supremacy, white people have ruined their own system. Now they get to blame a nigga. You niggas didn't get it yet. You're going to get it. You, you, you're definitely going to get it. You know, but we have no reason to be PC. Like, some people are offended, you know, you know when we uh, bring the truth forward. Like, say, this particular image right here where we allege that it is black women who keep the horseship of white standards, you know, white standards alive and growing. What is the standard operating procedures, standard operating guidelines, SOGs? It's the, it's the black woman who keep these SOGs, the horseship, horse, whore, horseship, the horse shit, the horseship, not worship, but the horseship of white standards alive and growing. From everything from fashion to religion. And black women have to admit that they've been deadbeat as well. They failed to lead the race. I mean, lead the race, but then after all, on a certain level, you can't really, I mean, we can blame them, but we can't really just blame them by themselves. You understand? Because niggas, the black man, has also been deadbeat about his spiritual God-given responsibility because he fails to recognize or accept his God. He fails to recognize and accept his own divine image and God standards. Now, how many black, this is Barzoni's right here, very, very beautiful image right here. This is Barzoni's um Black Jesus Montage by an artist named Vincent Barzoni. And it's a beautiful image here. Some niggas are offended when they see this right here. You know, they believe it's not true. You understand? They believe this is just black people doing this, so forth and so on. Yet everything in the story, as we're demonstrating over here, you know this picture? Some of y'all might not know this picture over here. We had showed this and demonstrated it alongside Barzoni's Barzoni, Vincent Barzoni's crucifixion scene right here. Let us um, unrotate, undo the rotate right here. Do you know this image now? You know this image now, right? Okay, you can see this image now. You can see what this image is. This is reality. This, 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 this really happens. Not just happened. This happened, right? This is this, this is Will Brown. Will Brown being crucified outside the Omaha courthouse. It's a lynching scene outside of a courthouse. So when we want to talk about PC, who are we being politically correct about? Was this PC? Was this image PC? This wasn't PC. Was that politically correct? For their system, it was PC, but it was their system of things. So all that PC bullshit, we don't have time to be PC. Niggas don't have time to be PC. Black folks don't have time to be PC because what government are you protecting? What politics? What politics are you about? Are you just another ass kisser, ass sucker for white supremacy? Who, who are you protecting? You understand? Who you, are you protecting this clown here? Bring up, bring up this picture of this clown right here. Check out this clown. This is, this is their God. This is, this is their God. You see the, the white men here in this image over here? Let's, let's show. It was in his name. In his name, they killed this black man. It was in his name and in his image. This is the image of the Antichrist right here. But it's, it's, it's so very interesting that in spite of all that, a lot of our own woman, the black woman, bring up the black woman keeping alive the, the horse shit, the horse ship of, of white standards alive. You understand? This is, this, is, this is the problem. But then Willie Lynch said it, Slick Willie. We got Slick Willie. We got Slick Willie on, on, on the, um, the roller decks. Bring up Slick Willie. Where's... Where's Slick Willie? Oh, he's back there. I see Slick Willie. Here's Slick Willie. You understand? Here's Slick Willie. The infamous. 
a famous, politically correct, slick Willie Lynch, and still many of you niggas would lie to yourselves and think that this is all fake. You don't want to believe, you don't want to accept the truth. And then niggas ask, why are black people in the situation they're in? How come black people are failing at everything that they do? Because they are worshiping false gods. You understand? They are worshiping false gods. Remember how Willie Lynch said that the black woman is, um, what did Willie say? Slick Willie say? He said that the black woman is vital for his economics. He said the black woman is vital for his economics. She's an integral part of his economics. Well, therefore, we look at the economy, we need to blame the black woman. I'm sure the white man, he must be blaming the white woman if he really understands what his, his granddaddy, Slick Willie Lynch, said. Slick Willie Lynch said that the black woman is the one who's going to keep the black man in check. She's the one who's going to raise him a certain way. She's the one who's going to be that wife that's going to make sure he don't get out of line. If he does get out of line, she's going to go to Massa. She's going to go to Massa. So this problem that we have is a God problem. We have, we have a God problem until we want to look at the evidence for what it really is and begin to do what our God and Father, the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said, then this situation will continue to get worse. This situation will continue to get worse. There's more to come on this, but I'm sure most of y'all should know this already, don't y'all? Don't y'all understand what this is about?